Dear world, how's the lockdown? Two more years, how's that sound? Empty streets, what a big deal, can't be real. Tell me, how's the lifeless city now feel? People either dying or living in fright, away from the light, wherever they can hide, yet still blind to our plight. For you heard our screams, yet stayed in your happy nook, for we don't matter in your book, but now that the very earth has shook, did that make you look at us any different? Or do you still side with the tyrant? This is how we've spent our lives, we've lost our tribes, we've lived on knives, and those of us that manage to survive still strive as they dive deeper into persistence for resistance. We were oppressed for decades, suppressed, forced to regress behind their walls and repress our screams as their schemes for a Zionist regime came to fruition and we were forced into submission to their oppression. You hushed our cry, turned a blind eye, let us die while the media lied and lied and completely denied the oppression with which this nation laid the very foundation of its so-called country. What audacity that they try to prove the legality of all this atrocity and dismiss our nationality to our own homeland. And what a shame they use the Lord's name to justify their claim to our domain. How inhumane can you get that you let this be? You let us suffer while you prosper. Is this what your prophets taught you? And it breaks my heart to contemplate the way that they've contaminated the Holy Land with their deviated, blood-tainted hands. They forced us out of our state and dared to dictate over us and subjugate us to violence and hate who gave them the right to create a home by murdering the masters of the house. They are not rabbis, they are terrorists and you completely missed the fact that this land was promised to pious successors and not to oppressors. What hypocrites! You called yourself feminists while you sent your men to torture our women. The rights of animals you crave, yet how brave you are to ignore the very mass grave that your men dig every single day to dump our children in. You spent your holiday trips on cruise ships and bought tickets to go visit this oppressive regime. But did you hear our screams from the other side as we tried to hide from the missiles and bombs that they dropped on our homes? I swear to you by the Lord of Jerusalem and I swear to you by the Lord of Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad that on the day of judgment when you stand to face your trial you would not smile not even for a while as the Lord questions you for the vile atrocities that you have committed. I promise you today, on this Al Quds day, that in the dirt we'll rub your face and Palestine we will liberate by the Almighty's grace. I promise you this.